You can't share the camera screen. face, bro. Get ready. All right, you're on. Woo! <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Good How morning, are you? Good afternoon. Good day. Whatever time zone you are in. There we go. It is uh, 4 p.m. for us here at Volante on a Tuesday. You know what that means? Stream time. Stream Will time. Willow, Willow pose. Okay. It's got. It has to have like the little stomp. Oh yes. Oops, step. Oh. Um, so, you may be wondering. We are. We are super sweaty. We apologize for that. Yeah. It's. It's warm. Uh, here we did a little bit of lifting, a little bit of extra exercise, some Volante Pilates. Yeah. Um, Notice how no. jacked he is. That is a lie. We just sent out the pallets to. Uh, where? Where to? Denver. <laughs> what are we doing in Denver? We're going to uh, Fan Expo Denver. That's true, but that's not just the only reason we're here to talk about. Right. Yeah. No. That's like that's a little side dish. It is. A little it is. side salad to kind of. Start us up, freshen us up. What are we here about, Brian? Well, that would be the other reason that we are sweating. Yeah, because this is wool and wax, and it is warm. And it is what else? In... We're... What are we doing with these today? Restock! They are <laughs> in for restock, yes. Uh, so we are here to show the new colorway yep. we have. So if you haven't been around um if you're new here this is the rook it is um one of our assassin's creed officially licensed um wool peacoats with yeah you can see them all right there oh um so i don't i don't i haven't played assassin's creed since the second one um so this one is from assassin's syndicate. creed syndicate mm -hmm. and it is a gang i heard like called a, the rooks called the rooks I've only seen pictures of them. They look pretty cool. I don't know what they're about, but like, they can't be all bad if they look that good, right? Eh, eh. Eh? Oh, and what else? So we've done Rooks before uh, yep. in two colorways in both the Fog. The Victorian Fog and Victorian Disciple. Victorian Fog is this um, gray color here. It's a gray herringbone wool. Um, this one is getting restocked. Uh, the Victorian Disciple is, uh, like a darker, um, almost royal, almost navy-ish, uh, blue. That one is, uh, not coming back for this one. Instead, we have, what's this colorway? Shields Green. Shields Green. Ooh. There, yeah. So, <laughs> it's, She um, says with a question mark. I know the spelling means some pronunciation. <laughs> so, Haley, you did some research on this. Why Shields Green? Why is it so, that name? So, this one is actually, uh, you can customize your character in this color, I believe, mm. in the Assassin's Creed. And is that the, like, what's in the game? Yes. Shields Green? There we go. Oh. Authenticity. Yeah. In so in the the trying to come up with a name for the colorway and everything, um, we actually got some history lessons about various green colors, um, which I completely forgot because I've been in booking land and we've been in paladin land. In paladin land. However, the rest of the old colorway, uh, most of them are on the way to Denver. Yep. So um, if you are really hankering for a Victorian disciple. And you know you really wanted to get some one of the last ones that we have. Um, they will be on their way to Denver, and then from there they're going over to San Diego Comic Con, um, and from there to Emerald City, City. and okay. also Pax West. However, we do have a limited number. Um, I'd like to say that we, I, I'd love to offer all the size range. Unfortunately, we do not have that. So um, uh, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or hit us up on our Discord or Instagram with questions, and we can always figure out what sizes we have. Mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, just stop by the booth. If you're going to be there. Okay. Sorry, I'm sweating like crazy. It's, it's wool. It's very warm. It is. It's really nice and toasty. Um, we got some, we did some new photo shoots for the, the new colorway and stuff, and it's really cool watching, like, all the water just kind of... Boop, 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 and those are all on the website now, Haley? All the new photos? Yes. So, like, I always knew that the wax, so the arms and the shoulders are still that wax canvas. I knew that those were water repellent. Um, didn't know that it was sort of kind of fell off the wool, too. I guess that makes sense because, like, there's, you know, sort of like a layer of fuzz on the wool. So it just kind of, like, 
beads and wools off. Yeah, I think I think wool has always been fairly weather resistant, if I'm not mistaken. It is a pain to wash, if I remember correctly, but mm -hmm. it is actually fairly weather resistant. That's why like wool coats and pea coats and navy coats are usually fairly popular, I believe. They're also extremely warm, so it yeah, it is nice and toasty. I mean we just but like I'm not like I'm not dying right now, I guess. You know, we just did um, some heavy lifting, getting the pallets up the ramps and stuff. Um, and then we immediately put these on and like, I, I don't feel like I'm gonna explode into oils. I don't know. Whatever into it is wet. that means exploit. Mm -hmm. no. We've already established that like wet related adjectives are not appreciated in the, in Jer the Jer Jer Jeremiah has that issue. Yeah, Ooh. Jeremiah does, is, does not enjoy words like yeah, no. Okay, we'll leave yeah. it. <laughs> Do we have any questions? Any questions? Uh, we do. Someone wants to see the differences on camera between the two colors. Ooh, oh, um, yeah, so... We can try. Let us know when we are in... So, you'll notice mine uh, is actually a, a lot darker. And yeah. let us know if we can get, if we need to get closer. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah. So, this is going to be the, the shade of green. Mm -hmm. And then, here's the, the fog, the, the which fog, is the gray. Which is so, so this is a fairly like cool tone gray um, compared to the green. The green is actually really, really subtle. I wasn't sure how I felt we'll when we said that we were going to do green. Um, but like looking at it in person now, I think it looks really nice because it's like a dark sort of muted uh, like army hunter green as opposed to like a deeper bluish emerald green. So it kind of contrasts the, the um, velvet fog top stitch really nicely. Um, and I, I, I really like it. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Jeremiah said he's going to probably get one of these. Also, if you want a, a good high def image, um, go on the website and look at the product page. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a, a side by side cut where you can really see the two in much better lighting and not over probably degraded video that we have. But it's a nice high def and you can really see the difference. Yep. So someone asked, how would you go about sizing in the Mm. Uh, same way we'd normally do. It's still done by a uh, uh, chest. Um, so starting with suit measurement is usually a great place to start. Um, so uh, if you've never been measured for a suit, uh, maybe go to a tailor. Uh, well, any, any good tailor or place where you get a jacket would be, you know, your best place, most accurate place. Are we mm -hmm. a little bit out of focus? No, you're in focus. Um, people are talking about the color. Uh, you wouldn't mind holding this black Ronin up to show the difference between the green and black and cross green. promo oh do i need to get closer or does it stand yeah, up yeah if you would get a little closer yeah that's perfect now back up just a bit yeah i'm sure like the the green screen on the instagram live would be wide really good. but they also talk about the product page has a nice high def photo on there too yeah. i feel like we need to do like one of those influencer hands just be like ah. <laughs> So the camera focuses. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Hi. Oh, this is also another jacket. That we... <laughs> we already did that one. We are about that one. You guys know about that one. But yeah, sizing is, is like any standard suit size. Our mm -hmm. sizing is actually pretty good on these. Um, so if you already have a Vante product, that's actually a great place to start. Mm -hmm. um, or if you see us at a show, we will fit you in one. Ooh. You don't have to buy it, but we'd like you to try it. Um, also, that's we are not... That's true. We are not restocking the women's cut. Um, this is just for the men's cut. I'm currently wearing uh, a men's cut um, in perhaps a size too small for me because you can sort of see like kind of tight around the booty, but it's fine because it's a it's a pea coat, so you can leave it open. You can button only one button, kind of give you like a more cinched waist thing. I um, was kind of tossed on here last minute, so I'm like rocking the. <laughs> cargo shorts underneath here. Shorts. So. Shorts. Yeah, so uh, forgive me for not being at my... However, this is also a good segue that should you use our sizing slider on the oh. website and uh, order if you if it's wrong and you get a size that is incorrect, we will exchange it for free. I'm waiting for the nods from Haley to make sure I am informing everyone correctly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, we do have a sizing slider that we believe is very ac uh, fairly accurate and, and good to use. Uh, so confident that if it is wrong, we will exchange it for free. So. Wow! Yay. Free! Amazing! We have another question. Someone 
asked about pocket information and how they must have it. And they need to know how many pockets are on the road. One, two. And the big pockets, too. You could probably fit uh, a switch. Yeah, the, the, if you had the Joy-Cons on it, it would probably just stick out on the Joy-Cons right there. It's like, this is this is where my hand ends. I have, a, I have a Steam Deck. It would not... A Steam Deck would be, like, hanging out like, a that's bit That's a big more. chonker. But, but... But, but... But, but... But, and but... Boom. Boop, boop. Two more pockets. Two more pockets. So One that's there. pretty standard on most of our long jackets. Um, they... Nothing on this like side. to put two pockets on. Oh, on. and also the hood is removable. Yep. And I'd say the pocket on the inside is about... Uh, I'm, like, five, eight, five, it's nine. It's a good, like, a hand. Like yeah. a good wallet size. Yeah. You, know, like a, you could fit a cell phone. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They're good. They're Emily's small. cell phone's pretty big, so it might stick out the top a little bit. But yeah, but it's inside. Nobody will see it. That's right. Yeah. Lay it close to, close to the breast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what that means, yeah. Yeah, I guess. it is. Or it does now. I guess. Um, Make it up. Someone asked, is there any future of another color coming soon? For the Rooks? Um, can't they coming soon, soon. Yeah. but, um, the wool does come in more colors, I want to say, but I don't know. What status ever... is this is in champion or contender status? Champion. Mm -hmm. So as a champion, that means we, it's generally the longest run thing we have. It's a very strong, um, uh, seller. So is coming soon? No. Coming in the future? Possibly. Oh, possibly yeah uh, highly possible because generally champions will go on for several runs and this is yeah. what the third second or third run i think it's the second champion run okay so there you go and like the hacker is also a champion and that one we've been running since nycc almost five years ago i think mm -hmm. so yep that's so mm -hmm. Someone said, listen, we appreciate the cargo shorts styling. It shows versatility. Ooh, <laughs> yes. Still rocking it. Still making it look good. Just looks a little weird when you're like this and it's like bare leg. Oh, yeah. It looks like I, I'm not, I don't know. No, we don't. Okay. Anyway. Don't yep, that yep, yep, yep. Nope. Um, someone different. asked, could you easily fit another coat underneath it? That seems like they live in very cold so, um, I'd say for me, probably not in this size because, um, it is not the correct size of this cut for me. Um, I don't know how, how do you feel in yours? So we get asked this question a lot, actually quite a bit. It shows, um, and it's usually a bit of information that we'll share. Uh, it really depends on how you like the cut of your coat. If you like something a little bit more slim then, cause right now this one is right at my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Um, I could put something else under here, maybe like a, a thin hoodie or just a, a hoodie in general, not something specifically really thick. Um, but uh, if I really thought I was going to layer, I may go a size up. I believe these are 39s. I believe so. Yeah, these are 39s. Um, uh, so the answer is yes, but with an asterisk. Um, it, like I said, depends on how fitted you like your coats. I generally think like things very fitted. So this one's right at the shoulder. Um, I probably wouldn't layer on underneath this. Also, it has its own hood, so I probably wouldn't put like a hoodie under here. Yeah. But I think you could do like a a, a thin sweater or like you a could, thin slate underneath. You could it. probably do um, at least a thermal, probably yeah. uh, a turtleneck, just because it is um, one of these open lapel types. Um, so you know the decolletage may get chilly. Hundred percent, something like that. Yeah, I always I'm not that fancy, so I would think hoodie. But yeah, like a thermal or a, a thin sweater. That that mm. totally. I mean, I'm not like ripping out the seams right now. I'm not like yeah. muscles McGee here. And also, so on Brian, um, his shoulders are pretty much uh, matched in the in the men's cut. Right there. On me, the shoulders are a little bit wider than where my shoulders naturally end. Um, I have kind of more slopey shoulders, but because of the wax on the shoulders, it still doesn't look that bad if you did go a size up um like the it doesn't end up looking yeah it doesn't just fruit. yeah it doesn't, yeah so if you haven't had wax wax also doesn't stretch a whole lot because this is the wax cotton wax canvas uh wax cotton and canvas is a different grade of fabric, okay. oh. different type of fabric that goes into like weight and weave and everything are like we going out oh, okay just a, it's a waxed canvas <laughs> uh wax cotton sorry now you're messing me up. Yeah, but it means it doesn't really stretch a whole yeah. lot. It'll soften up because it when it warms up, but it doesn't it doesn't stretch and relax like normal cotton. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, someone asked about care um, and how to go about watching this code. So, okay. Uh, that becomes tricky because you have two very distinct types of fabric on this one. Yeah. Um, uh, wax canvas, unfortunately, uh, or excuse me, wax cotton. Mm-hmm. I'm screwing myself up. Uh, you cannot dry clean. Um, uh, one of the main things is because it actually is a wax in there. So, yeah, psh, there's wax in there. You apply heat, wax does what wax does, and it will come right out. Um, it won't actually damage the product, but it, it is going to lose the waterproofing, and you will actually see a very noticeable color change. And this is this is the wax here. Um, mm-hmm. You can kind of hear it, maybe. I don't know. A little ASMR. <laughs> um, uh, so this you can't dry clean. Um, but the wool, I would say normally you... Well, the wool is also tricky too. Mm-hmm. Wool is normally going to be spot clean in my, in my experience, but I'm also not the super fabric person. I'm good at doing the fabric. I'm not good at taking care of the fabrics. I am unfortunately <laughs> one of those heathens that throws all my clothes into one wash cycle. And don't just, do that. Yeah, don't do that. Hand, spot clean. Spot, spot clean. clean. If you can't dry clean it, spot clean. That's that's it. I um, mean, like, I wouldn't do it with a coat this nice or something. Yeah, but we don't, wanna, we don't even want to put that out there. That key said that they just throw all... And if it's okay for a sewist, no, it's not okay it's for not you. It's not okay. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm a horrible person. I feel like I need the Captain America. So, so you tossed your rook in the wash. What now? <laughs> then you could say spot. Yes, there we go. Mm-hmm. So basically, what Haley said, but we just said it with a lot more words. <laughs> yep. That's why they shouldn't put us in front of people. Oh, wax? No problem. Like you can probably get into a wine fight with the wax. The wool... Wool is going to stain like wool will. I, I don't know, again, I don't own a lot of wool fabric or wool products. Um, but the as we always say, the wax, because it is water repellent, a lot of that should just flow right off. Yeah. Um, and like something like wine or something very like low viscosity, very liquidy, I would imagine would act much like rain or water would and just kind of like feed off a little bit so long as you're not like soaking it into the fabric. Um, something more, uh, thicker, like a ketchup, uh, or something. Oh, uh, door open. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know if it's close enough to get picked up. I don't know. Um, do they're I running. See, do I see another ketchup test coming uh, in the future? Maybe. Um, more, throwing more ketchup on David. Yeah. Um, or key. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Thumbs like, up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, get into a food fight. Um, and like squish cake frosting into your pool because that would one be unfortunate and two uh, we can't really help you with that. Although I would say if you really uh, email us uh, uh, and we can give you a much more definitive answer. Yeah, we are just a lot of people are currently in the process of building something very complicated in the other room. Something so cool. don't yeah. get distracted. <laughs> I'm not. Yes. The subject matter is supposed to be busy. Yeah. So it's if you have any conventions you're looking forward to attending this year? Uh, All of them? Yeah, I mean, so I'm really excited to go to Denver because one of my friends lives in Denver now. Hi! Um, and I haven't seen him in a long time, so I'm excited to meet up with him. Uh, I'm excited for SDCC. Uh, yeah. We, I, I think one. David and Willow have been there, but we have not been there in official capacity. Right. This will be our first time. Um, so very excited about that. Uh, personally, I have not been to San Diego ever. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Denver, I have a lot of friends there too. You have um, a lot of friends everywhere. You do. Seattle's fun. We also have Seattle. We have, and we're, I, doing, we're doing a couple of things in Seattle. Um, I'm sort of bouncing from Seattle to Las Vegas to Seattle. So I'm going to be on the road for like three and a half weeks. I'm going to miss some cats so much. Single two. But yeah, I'm excited to go ahead and explore things. I haven't really um, gotten to spend a lot of time on the West Coast, so no, that'll be interesting. Oh, good. Um, uh, and I always love Dragon Con. I am, mm-hmm. I am a long-term, I think 15, 16 years going to Dragon Con. Uh, so I love it. It's near and dear to my heart. So I believe when I said, hey, Brian, can I go to Dragon no. Con? He was like, no, you can fist fight me for it. And I lost. <laughs> 
Yeah, so basically all our cons. We, we yeah. really love doing shows, so personally I do. I won't speak for Key. Like them. They're, yeah. they're pretty fun. All right. Speaking of conventions, someone asks, are there any Florida cons planned in the future? Perhaps MetroCon or MegaCon? I would personally love to go there because I also have a lot of friends in Florida that I would love to see. Unfortunately, it is hot all the time um, and we sell heavy coats. So those generally don't mishmash very yeah. well. They... When we... Uh, open a line for swimsuits maybe i mean we always we are always looking at the other cons you know the the business answer is we're always looking at other opportunities right. um but yeah one of the main reasons is it is very hot in florida so it gets a little hard to justify it sometimes but we are always looking at that if the numbers uh add up then yeah we're we'd be willing to go down there. i think we've done one or two of those in the past mm -hmm. um i'm new the event manager so i don't remember all of them off off my top of my head um and they didn't do particularly great yeah um so it's not that we don't love you it's just that yeah we would love to come down there like yeah. i said i would love to make the trip oh, maybe but I'll let you it's still pretty hot it is but at least it's cooler <laughs> um, yeah by their standards it's basically winter like well i know maybe they'll want a coat or maybe they're, it's holiday maybe they're buying it for someone else could be maybe they bought it we went down there, we shipped all of our stuff down to Florida, and they bought a coat to ship it back up here to somebody that they love. Mm -hmm. I, mean. I mean, you know what? We're going to roll with that. Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's Maybe. It. Mm -hmm. it looks like that's about it for questions. Let me check. Just... That's a lot of questions. That was a lot of questions. Wow. 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 Yeah, that's pretty much it. I like that we're on the same level of bullshit. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> is there anything else that we wanted to talk about with the whole, like, Assassin's Creed stuff? Rook stuff? I speak French. Oh, yeah. Never mind. It's old mm -hmm. commercial. No one else gets that. No. If you do get that, please tell me on Discord so I, or Instagram so I don't feel like a complete old person. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut it with that. I think. Anything else? Any closing uh, arguments? Um, the rook, it's gonna be out. It's cool. Get it. So it's only up for pre-order though, right now, right. correct? Uh, yes, it is for pre-order. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And Willow. Wow. Happy Tuesday.